An Australian cattle producer said he fought off an attack by a 10-foot-long crocodile by biting the animal's eyelid. Colin Devereux, who is in his mid-60s, told the Australian Broadcasting Corporation that the attack happened near the Finnis River in Australia's Northern Territory state after he noticed fish swimming in a stagnant body of water. The water had receded and it was down to this dirty water in the middle, Devereux said, adding that he took two steps when the crocodile rushed him and, latched onto, his right foot. It was a big grab and he shook me like a rag doll and took off back into the water, pulling me in, he said. During the attack, which Devereux said lasted around eight seconds, he tried to bite the crocodile and kick it in the ribs. I was in such an awkward position but by accident my teeth caught his eyelid. It was pretty thick, like holding onto leather, but I jerked back on his eyelid and he let go, he said. I leapt away and took off with great steps up to where my car was. He chased me for a bit, maybe four meters, but then stopped, he added. His brother then took him to the hospital, where he has been recovering for nearly a month. Devereux said that the biggest problem was clearing out the bad bacteria from his wounds, as the body of water had been filled with mud and goose and duck feces. He said that the crocodile had since been removed adding that he was thinking about changing his job after the attack. It means I've got to change what I do. I've been walking around that swamp country too long fixing fences and living life, but it's opened my eyes, he said. Brandon Sido, a crocodile management expert, told the New York Times that the best way for a person unlucky enough to find themselves clamped in the vice-like jaws of a crocodile was to gouge the reptile's eyes. That will, in many cases, result in the crocodile letting go of the victim, Saito said. The second most common one I see is punching the snout, which sometimes will make them let go.